we have our first real life photos of the new Abar 600E revealed for its 75th anniversary before its official debut. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where Abarth has published first non-CGI photos of the 600E in the Scorpion Nissima launch edition including giving us a first look at the interior and they did this because they wanted to celebrate their 75th anniversary. Now the performance focused version of the Fiat 600E will debut in June 2024 this year just a couple of months away and will be the the most powerful of Barth ever thanks to the 237 horsepower from its fully electric powertrain. Now following the earlier teaser, Abarth published three non-edited photos revealing the entirety of the exterior and interior design. We're starting from the cabin, the Scorpionissima features leather and Alcantara upholstery, a pair of bucket seats with a scorpion pattern, a sportier sting wheel, lime yellow stitching, and a Barth lettering on the dashboard. Now equipment includes a 10 inch infotainment system with a Barth specific graphics and performance related screens. The model also inherits the sound generator from the Abarth 500E, producing fake noises during startup and acceleration, resembling a combustion engine. Now from the outside, a Barth subcompact SUV looks angrier than a standard Fiat thanks to the redesigned body kit, the vivid colors, the 20 inch alloy wheels, and the Scorpion emblems. Now the deeper front and rear bumpers feature large, boxy, but purely decorative intakes sending rally car vibes together with the rear spoiler and the diffuser. And in the Scorpionissima package, well the flashy purple shade contrasts the lime yellow accents on the calipers, center caps, and Scorpion emblems. Now the company hasn't given any details about the specifications of the EV, but confirmed it makes 237 horses, 240 PS, 177 kilowatts, which is a healthy boost compared to the 154 horsepower, 115 kilowatts, 156 PS of the Fiat 600E. Now a new mechanical limited slip differential will help put this power on the road through the front wheels. And the Barth also mentioned racing contents, hinting at a sharper setup for the suspension and steering. Now, there's no word on the range figures, but expect the 54 kilowatt battery pack to be carried over from the Fiat. Now the Scorpionissima launch edition will be offered in a limited number of 1,949 units as a nod to the founding year of Abarth. And more details will follow about the Abarth 600E that will be unveiled again in its official debut scheduled for this June. But so far, what are you guys thinking about the 600E and this purple Scorpionissima launch edition? Now with that said, drop those comments down below. And if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.